All right, in this video, I'm going to show you guys my board game collection. Uh, I don't think I've actually done a video like this before. Maybe I did and I just forgot. Um, but, you know, multiple people have asked in the past, uh, for those who aren't aware somehow, I'm a big board game guy. I'm also probably not gonna edit this too much, so apologies if I ramble or whatever, but you know, you know why you're here. Um, yeah, so this is a, um, if you is, uh, step back here, this is the main shelf. It's a five by five Calyx. And uh, we're just gonna go uh, square by square, starting with these sort of smaller games up here. Now, uh, a lot of these games get shuffled out. Um, I, you know, I buy a lot of games, I get sent a lot of games, and so, uh, this shelf may look completely different. Well, not completely different, actually. It actually takes a lot uh, for a game to make the shelf, so it stayed actually pretty consistent, but um, uh, I feel like every couple months or so, you'll see some, some shuffling of in games in and out. I give away a lot of games to friends, uh, so that's where they go. Anyway, uh, so these are some smaller games, um, some ones that stand out. This is a copy of Ghost Blitz 2 I bought in Japan. Uh, it's a very funny game, uh, where you have to, like, grab, uh, the item if it's, uh, represented on the card and it's the right color. And if you don't, you get penalized, and they're, like, all, all these other very silly rules. Um, played that in, uh, Japan when I, uh, was last there, and I, I had a, we had a great time. Um, let's see, yeah, you got some code names in here, um, some of these, like, sort of party games, like, social deduction games, like, you know, Bang, Where Words, Good Critters. Uh, Good Critters is like a newer one. Uh, Trap Words, that's a fun party game. The Crew is great. Uh, I uh, have also played the sequel on Board Game Arena, and um, yeah, that's a, that's a great one as well. Both Cartographers, I think I was sent one of them? I forget, or maybe, no, I think I just bought them both. I don't know, it's just, it's hard to remember. Uh, Shards of Infinity, great um, uh, sort of deck building game. Uh, very, uh, simple one, but fun. Just one, classic as well. Uh, moving on here, we got a bunch of games. That's the first board game I've ever really, like, I truly bought, Forbidden Island. Uh, it's a little dented, but, uh, I had that copy for... So I'll just say, get some Tim and Fowers games here, Paperback, Burgle Bros. Um, The Mind is a classic. Uh, this is, looks like it's a love letter... Um, some small games here. We got like a uh, very funny, silly taco, cat, goat, cheese, pizza, just a uh, very funny one. Um, Insider, uh, sort of like a uh, 20 questions sort of uh, uh, so social deduction game. Um, and yeah, you got you got your, let's see, Skull King, the trick taking game, uh, Six Dent, a classic. Love that one. Um, if, I, if I don't mention the game, it's not because I don't think it's notable. I just, uh, I'm kind of going, you know, stream of consciousness here. Of course, the Gan Shan Clever games. I love those quite a bit. Uh, that is Welcome To, if you can't see uh, this one here. Um, oh yeah, and this one's Jiraku. It's like an interesting little, like, uh, kind of like, oh man, it's been a while since I've played it. But I remember you're like playing cards and like kind of manipula manipul nah, manipulating troops on a board. Um, that one I've not played in a long time. Um, this is the legendary, uh, set. Uh, these are jam-packed full of cards with custom dividers. Uh, I should just show, like, what one looks like, just to give you a sense of how crazy this is. Enjoy our harpy, harpy sisters, uh, um, carpet here. Or not a carpet, but rug, uh, blanket. I don't, why am I, why am I saying that? Um, yeah, so, uh, I have every legendary character, every legendary set, uh, and I, uh, I, I love Legendary. It's my favorite board game of all time. Uh, huge fan of that. Um, this is a random box. Uh, I just have some of these sets and just use random boxes to, because at this point it fills like four full boxes. Um, some more social deduction stuff here, like Secret Hitler is classic. I love Deception. I think that's one of my favorites. Uh, these I just bought on Impulse in Japan. This is like a Danganronpa, like, I think it's like a werewolf style game. I haven't played it, but I just thought it was cool because I like Danganronpa. Uh, this is a copy of Love Letter, Game Center CX version, just because I wanted it and I love Game Center CX. More for the novelty. Um, again, a lot of these on the top are a lot of party game stuff. Time's Up, one of my favorite uh, of all time. 
Uh, Vegas Dice Game is a really mean one. That one's fun. Perudo, uh, for those who don't know, on Board Game Arena, I am ranked number one in the world <laughs> on Perudo. Uh, love it very much. Uh, Long Shot, that was a really fun sort of like horse racing game where you're like kind of doing bets and stuff. Really fun. So Clover, that's a really fun one. I, I think I encountered that one at a PAX uh, and really enjoyed that. So yeah, a lot of these ones in the top row are sort of these party games and legendary. Moving down, um, we've got, uh, oh yeah, shit, we got Twilight Struggle. Um, Space Invaders, I reviewed that one. Uh, really fun flicking game. You use like little catapults to launch uh, onto the onto the cards. Um, Rhino Hero, fun stacking game. Yes, yeah, these are on, on the lighter end, except Twilight Struggle, that is not a light game. Um, Ice Cool, also a fun flicking one where you're flicking little penguins around. Uh, moving on to here, this is a new one, Star Wars the deck building game, I just reviewed that, I thought that was great. Summer Camp, another great deck building game. Space Base is really fun, the Machi Koro Killer. Uh, Magic Maze is super stressful. Uh, Rolling Realms, I describe it as like, a, a flip and write Mario Party style little games, that one's fun. Um, and also themed on Stonemaier games, which is a fun little thing. Uh, here are the three Azuls, I know there's Queen's, what the hell is it called, Queen's Garden. I didn't like that one that much, but uh, I like uh, these three Azuls, I think, um, ooh, it's a toss-up between these two. I think my gut says I might like Stained Glass better, but, uh, I think they're all great. Sagrada, really great, um, dice placement, you know, in the right spot, sort of drafting game. Um, Aeon's End, I love Aeon's End very much. I have, I think, every set to date. There's a couple, um, new expansions I haven't played through yet, but I've played through like both legacy games and I keep all the cards in these boxes here. Uh, Don't Get Got is a really funny game where you, you have like hidden tasks you have to do and you're supposed to play this like during a party or something. I, I pulled it out in New Year's and that was really fun. Um, Let's see, another Aeon Zen. Wildlands, really great little sort of like move your guys around on the map and beat each other up to grab crystals. Very, very like Simple to teach, but a lot of fun. Um, a lot of fun card play in that. Forbidden Sky, kind of out of nowhere here. It's uh, the third in the Forbidden series. I think a new one, like Forbidden Jungle, is out or coming out. Uh, Sky was all right. Uh, I think Desert's the best one, though, uh, for me. Uh, moving on down. Dune Imperium is a fantastic game. I love it. It's a deck-building game. Subterra, co-op, sort of like you're going through a tiles of a little cave and trying to not get stuck. Mansions of, Mansions of Madness, big old box uh, for that. Uh, Sidereal Confluence, really fun um, simultaneous like negotiating game. You're trying to like, you know, make deals in real time to get what you need. Uh, Calico, very chill, um, uh, like sort of drafting and you're putting them onto, did I review that one? I think I might've, uh, really cute game. Zombicide, I'm a big Zombicide fan. Uh, uh, actually, um, a couple friends and I, we do a weekly uh, Zombicide sort of quote unquote campaign where we play through the missions. And if characters die, uh, they we can't use them anymore. And we keep track of like, you kind of build our own story as we go. Uh, it's been really, really fun. I highly recommend playing Permadeath Zombicide. Uh, it makes it a lot more high stakes. Uh, Clank is great. Um, Clank Catacombs, I think, completely replaces Base Clank for me. Uh, Clank in Space is, uh, I, I, enjoy, I always like that a lot more than Clank. Um, ready, set, bet, that's one I reviewed. It's a fun horse betting game. Horse betting is just a good like, like theme for a game. Um, Kitchen Rush, really fun, almost like, oh, like overcooked the game. Like you're doing tasks and you have to flip these uh, uh, sand timers to do actions. Uh, and you have to wait till the timers are done to move them. Really fun. Bullet Star, I think that was a review one. I really liked that. It was like a one-on-one, -on -one, like, uh, it's not, you can do more than one-on-one, -on -one, I think, but I prefer it one-on-one, -on -one, where you are making patterns and like, like sort of like a ma match, matching game, uh, and you send garbage over like in Tetris to your opponent. Fabled Fruit, that's an interesting one. Uh, it's a game where like e the game changes as you play it because you add cards and get rid of cards each time you play. That was pretty cool. Um, let's see. Down here, Search for Planet X. That's a fun sort of like deduction game. You an app, you use an app to do it and you're trying to narrow down where Planet X is. Uh, this still, that's a newer one. That one's like uh, you're making booze. That one was fun. Uh, man, some of these I've not played in a while. 
Sniper Elite, that was a review game that I was really impressed by, a hidden movement game, one-on-one, -on -one. one of you is a sniper trying to make your way through, very Metal Gear Solid, and the other player are the, uh, the enemies trying to catch them. Uh, Stardew Valley, that game's kind of a mess, honestly, but it's interesting, I kind of want to play it one more time, but I don't know how long that'll stick around. Uh, Quacks of Quedlinburg, classic, like, uh, uh, bag building game, you're, you know, adding little ingredients to your bag. Oh, hello! Um, let's see, Destinies, I haven't played that in a while, it's a, one of those sort of story games, you're going around and you're building up your stats, uh, very fun. Uh, Tyrants of the Underdark is a great deck building game, you use that to, uh, move your guys around on the board as well. I love deck building games, as you can see, definitely, like, one of my favorite genres, if not my favorite. Um, let's see, Iki, that's a newer one, um, you're going around, like, sort of Japanese marketplace. Uh, that one was pretty cool. Forgotten Waters. I'm actually in that one, but even if I wasn't in it, I would highly recommend it. It's a very, very fun game. Um, uh, great voice acting, too, uh, from everyone, including me. But uh, it's a game where you're doing a lot of choose-your-own-adventure stuff, and you're trying to... It's a co-op game where you're all members of a pirate crew. Uh, I loved it. I thought it was so much fun. Um, Undaunted, another great uh, deck-building game. Uh, where uh, you're playing different sides of, you know, like World War II, and uh, if you kill enemies on your opponent, they actually get thrown out of their deck. And if you're lucky, that uh, it's in their hand, and they get a smaller hand. Uh, that one was fun. Um, yeah, yeah, these uh, Star Wars Outer Rim, that one was just like, I'm, I'm not a Star Wars guy, but I had a lot of fun with that. You're going around doing nefarious bounty stuff. Bottom row here. Um, oh, Honey Buzz and Godzilla, those are some newer games to the collection. Um, both have really great presentation, and Godzilla like a battle game. Honey Buzz, that was like a sort of, you're constructing this honeycomb uh, hive layout. Uh, it's been a while since I played it, but it was really interesting. Not didn't feel like anything I'd played before. Um, let's see, Fallout, that's another very flawed game, but one I'm keeping around because I kind of want to play it to... Uh, it, it, it's supposed to be played like a versus game, but I really feel like it should have been like a co-op game. Um, Flamecraft, very cute. Uh, also one where you're kind of going around, uh, oh, what is like a grid? <laughs> See, the thing is I play so many games, it's hard to remember, but yeah, you're sort of, um, it's engine building, that's right. Um, I need to sit down and replay some of these. My wife always complains because I'm always bringing in new games and she's like, we play the games that we have. Um, we got some of the, like, North, the Raiders of the North Sea Paladins of the West Kingdom, some nice crunchy, uh, worker placement games. Lost Ruins of Arnak has great components, and it's also, it's a little bit of deck building, but it's also, like, you're going around exploring, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very fun. Um, Dinosaur Island, I actually have both that and Raw and Right. I might just choose one to keep. Raw Fight's pretty good, and it's a little easier to bring to the table, so I might stick with that one, but they're both great games. Mystic Veil's fun. It has, like, um, these sleeved cards, and you actually slot in parts and make your own cards. Uh, really fun deck builder. Uh, Spectre Ops, another great hidden movement game. You're, like, a bunch of monsters trying to hunt down one guy. This War of Mine was a really, like, fascinating experience. Uh, really captures the theme of, like, war and not the fun part, but, like, it's just, you get emotionally invested. Uh, it was, it was quite a game. Uh, Everdell, um, uh, always a classic. Uh, I very much enjoy that one. Um, you're just making, like, you know, uh, playing cards, worker placement, gorgeous components, gorgeous, gorgeous art. It's great. Um, yeah, kind of rush through that, but that's the main shelf, and then I'm gonna go over and show you uh, the other shelf. This is like a longer shelf um, that uh, sort of keeps some games that are a little too big for the other shelf, and, and or ones that Anne-Marie wanted to keep. Um, got the Clanks, I still haven't gotten rid of them, yeah, because there's just, I got so much content for it, uh, but I feel like Catacombs is basically replacing it. I played through this for the first time, Legendary Encounters Matrix. I really loved it. Um, uh, very thematic, really feels like you're playing through the Matrix games. Um, Jaws of the Lion, we just finished that. I thought that was fantastic. I think it's a great intro to Gloomhaven. 
a bunch of zombicide stuff that I have not uh, brought into play yet, but you know, at some point. Um, Diticulture, um, it's a great game, but it's on Board Game Arena, so I like don't think I need it anymore, but Amory wants me to keep it, and I'm like, yeah, great, yeah, we can totally keep it. Um, Azul, this is like the chocolate version, Amory got this. Uh, Legacy of Gravehold, did I play? I must say, I, I believe I played, God, I can't even remember. Um, I think I, why do I sold the box? I guess just to keep it, I don't know. Um, this is The Adventures of Robin Hood. I haven't played that yet. A lot of, um, sort of campaign or legacy games, uh, that I have not gotten around to yet. Railroad Inc., great game, but, um, onboard game arena, so it's one that was, I was gonna get rid of. Um, Great Western Trail, uh, another great game, but also on board game arena. And also this one was a copy that was given to me at a convention, and they, like, wrote a note in it, and I was just like... Oh man, I, I can't get rid of that. Like it's it just, it was such a nice moment. And also it's a great game. So I, I do have it uh, if I want to pull it. Also the box I think is kind of big. I think that's also why this is here. Uh, Micro Macro Crime City, really fun sort of like Where's Waldo crime solving game. Um, really great, surprisingly dark uh, despite its um, cutesy look. Concordia, yeah, this one just cause it's a big box. Uh, had to put that here. Uh, Unfair Amory really likes this one. Um, it's fun. Uh, I do like it. And I don't want to make it seem like, oh, yes, I banished the games Amory wants over here. It's more so that I try to keep the main shelf as like, okay, I got to really call this down. Um, but games that I was considering getting rid of, but Amory's like, no, no, we should keep them. I'm like, okay, well, we can, we can put them over here because, you know, I want her to keep the games that she likes, you know. Uh, Cascadia, uh, that's another one. Machi Koro, she's got a soft spot for. Uh, Trogdor the board game, I think, is silly, but I'm just such a Homestar Runner fan, I just have to keep it. Uh, Kings Dilemma I haven't played yet. Uh, Wingspan's over here. Uh, a lot of these, it's because they're on Board Game Arena. Like, Wingspan is on there now. Uh, played the Asia expansion, though. I thought that was fun. Uh, My City, really fun legacy game that I played through, finally. Uh, it, it is fully playable afterwards, so I keep it. Haven't played Detective yet. The League of Legends, what is this, like, Minions, something, Mechs and Minions. A uh, huge box, really great components. Betrayal Legacy, just finished that. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, Take the Ride Europe, the box is way too big. That's why it's over here. Eclipse, same reason. Um, I have Gloomhaven here. I gotta like restart it, honestly. Um, but a friend of mine has a copy, so we're probably just gonna play his when we, when we finally get to it. Uh, Frosthaven is not on this shelf, but I have that as well. This is also the Gloomhaven expansion. Uh, Clank Legacy, great game. Uh, I'm just based, a lot of these I just keep for, because you can technically play this again, at least the, the completed board. Um, and it's kind of like just for uh, sentimental reasons, because it's just, it was just fun. Atmosphere is this really silly DVD game my friend got me as a joke, uh, and it's, it was funny, uh, and also just sentimental. So a lot, of, a lot of like sentimental choices, either they're too big or it's like sentimental reasons. Um, but yeah. And then you have just some Legos here for a little, little sneak, a uh, little uh, cameo. Uh, but yeah, that's the current state. This does not include all the review games I have, all the games. There's some games I own that I haven't played yet that are, aren't, aren't on these shelves. Um, but that is the current state of the board game shelf as of 2023. All right. Peace.